What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a tiring day because we're doing the, yeah, that wasn't funny. But today we're gonna be doing tires on the trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my new jack stands. So if any of you guys watching had or have uh, Harbor Freight's three ton jack stands, some of them were recalled and one of the sets that I have was recalled so I took them in and they gave me some replacements so we're gonna be using these new ones and I mean who doesn't have these jack stands right they're so cheap and they work so why not nice there we go there's one and the other. And the second, so I don't need this anymore. So let's get this trailer jacked up and start removing the wheels. All right, so I ended up having to put one jack stand on each side of both axles because it wasn't balancing out right. But now we got all four tires in the air and they spin freely, so we're good to go. All right, guys, so I got the wheels off and this is the weirdest setup I've ever seen. So apparently, the wheel is just, you know, a cylinder basically. And then these hold the wheels onto the hubs. You can see the marks where they were before. So basically they just go on like this and then they hold on the wheel to the hub. It's so weird. I got the hubs primered up. I'm gonna finish primering the rest of the wheel wells as well as the other side. And I'm gonna take the air out of the tires right now. These tires were old, but they held up. All right, guys, so it's been a few days since I last worked on the trailer. Um, it was my sister's birthday, and we took a spontaneous beach trip. So it took a few days off, but I got some progress done off camera. As you can see, I got the hubs painted on both sides, and I also took the ramps off and got this primered up, so this is ready for paint, too. So... It's time to get back to work. Um, I got pretty sunburnt at the beach, but I'm all right. So I have these stations going on right here. I'm taking the tires off. I'm spraying them down with some dish soap and then using some pry bars, taking the tires off, valve stems off. And then in here, as you can see, I already have another one ready. Uh, I am spraying them down with some primer. This is a rusty metal primer because they weren't the greatest, but it was just surface rust. So spraying them down with that and then I'll be using some wheel paint and getting them ready. I'll be using black uh, Duplicolor wheel paint. So they'll come out pretty nice. It's going to be, this is matching the hub, so it'll all look uniform. I'm going to set you guys down right here real quick. So you can see how I do the tire. I start with two pry bars. I step on the tire, put the pry bars in, start frying. And it's hard. There we go. 
go. And then come down, get a third one. And just start going around the whole tire till it comes off. It's pretty easy. So I have half of it off. And then just come on the other side, right on that. And then the first one is off. So you want to pull it up, stick this, pull it up. be easier if I had three long pry bars. Well, I, I have another long one, but it might be too long. Just keep walking the pry bars, one after the other. Starts to pop Once you have a good amount of it off, you can just step on the wheel and pull up on the tire. It should pop off. It's that simple. Now I just gotta take this valve stem off. need this anymore and this was ready to get wiped down and then painted all right so once that's done you got it all primered up and you're ready for some paint and you want to do at least three coats the first coat can be very light and then the second and third can be a little heavier so you can get full coverage on these so now that the wheels are painted we can go ahead and mount the brand new tires on them now just gotta put the valve stem on I actually went all the way to the store to try to buy some of these and while I was there I remember that I might have had some here at home so I FaceTimed Emily while I was at the store made her come to the garage and yep I had I have like 10 of them and I only need four so it's always good to replace them when you're doing new tires because 
this is rubber as well so they will wear out so might as well replace them while you have the tire off so you don't put a new tire on then have this fail on you and then have to take the tire back off so it's a good thing to always replace these so again i'm gonna set you guys right here and show you guys how i mount the tire First you want to put in your new valve stem, so stick it in the hole, okay so now I know these are wrong, um, they're actually too thin from the bottom. So I do need to go back to the store and get some that are fatter from down here so they don't just pull right through the hole. So gotta run to the store now. Got the goods. They got the roads blocked and everything so people can come out and have fun tonight. Got all the outdoor seating for the restaurants ready. Crazy. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right, so valve stem is in. Now let's put the tire on. First side. We're not pointing that right. But the first side is in. Alright, now how comes the fun part?
There we go. Woo! All right. So, tire seated. And now, you just have to air it up. And it's always easier if you take the valve stem out. So, let's screw that real quick. This is not gonna work. Plan B. All right, let's do this. Ready? Once it's aired up past where you want it to be, then you're gonna take it out real quick and put the stem back in like this in three, two, one. That took longer than I thought. Let's see how much we lost. Uh, we lost 10 pounds when I really only wanted to lose five. And there we go. So now we're good to go. Good to go on both sides. Yeah. All right. Whew. I'm tired. Nah, it still wasn't funny. Uh, I just got done doing all four. Um, but I, I'm not going to post it because I don't want to bore you guys with repetitive scenes. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.